What's going on fellow collectors? Once again, this is Optical 20. This time um, we're going to do a review. Uh, it's not a figure. It's the uh, Hall of Armor. So I decided to buy one. I am not a, I guess, what you would call an avid Iron Man collector. And I know there's a lot of those out there. And uh, this, uh, you know, you've seen reviews of this before, the Hall of Armor. But you always see them in packs, you know, because um, you always see them in seven packs or four packs. You know, I just want to put it out there for those who are like me, who only owns an Iron Man, meaning, you know, just one. Would it still look good? So hopefully this would help you decide whether it's it's a good look for you or you'd rather pass on this figure. But or, I mean on this, this, I guess we can call it a diorama since it's written on the box. As you can see here, it's it's a huge box. Um, not as quite as big as the Hulk, but it's it's pretty big and it's wide too. So you know it's kind of thick there. So so it would fit. As you can see at the bottom, it says diorama series, and um. I don't know if Hot Toys have released any diorama outside of the Hall of Armor. I could be wrong though because uh, my Batman is coming up with obviously the armor, armory, but it's not a standalone figure. I mean, it's not a standalone product that you can buy by itself. Unlike in this case, it comes in a single pack, a four pack, and a seven pack. Now, in my case, it wouldn't make any sense to buy the seven pack, as as you know. But um, you know, you can you can save a little bit of money if you go that route. So I, I unboxed it, and this is how it kind of looks like. You know, right out of the box, it's assembled, so you don't need to you know figure out how to uh, put them together. The only ones that you can detach realistically is the side panels. As you can see here, there's a, there's a light, and you can see the switch right there at the bottom. So you just, you know, individually, you know, this this one you could take out and there's a switch. This is not connected to uh, the AC power. As you can see, you can press it on and off. Uh, I mean, there's no light for now. It, it requires, if I'm not mistaken, three AAA batteries on the side. And you can see the contact panels. If you have more than one, in my case, I, I don't need it since I don't have any. This is the only one that I do have. Um, this is made out of clear plastic. It does have kind of frosting um, effect on it, so it's not super clear. But there's a lot of details on this guy. I mean, it's it's kind of pricey. It's for 129. But if you wait, you know, for a right timing, and then you know, as you can see here, you, there's individual um, switches. This one is for the blue light. And that's it for the LED light underneath. And it's uh, not only for underneath, but it kind of triggers all the LED lights, the white lights at least, on the back panel and on the top one. And I do like the fact that it, it comes in separate buttons, because otherwise I, I'm not a big fan of the blue light. I think it's more so if you are trying to display the figure inside with the uh, the blue hologram. But as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This one's you can move, you know, it kind of like, it, it all depends on... You know what kind of armor you're putting in so if it's let's say mark one who has big feet you can adjust this accordingly for mark seven which is the iron man that i do have you know it's a little bit smaller so you know you, you kind of cramp it up there and it's the same way if you have iron patriot or any other my iron man figures who comes with a special base this is the stand you know the clear plastic tubing just you just insert it to the hole kind of like the Superman if you have one uh, the Green Goblin you've seen this before nothing new there you go, the cradle it's not the usual crotch grabber it's just a single one and it holds Iron Man pretty well the back is lit up as well I uh, in my in my opinion this blows the, um, the house party protocol Hall of Armor if you want to call one out of the water I mean this is not it looks good i mean i've seen the preview i mean it's cheaper obviously but it's made out of styrofoam and i guess it gets the job done but still i mean if you're paying that much might as well get i in my opinion might as well get this and um you can see here oh it's beautiful bouquet oh uh, why there you go but there's a lot of lights and now this is the just want to show you up close you know, this is as close as I would go. This is the light on top. I mean, it, it gives you beautiful effect. 
you know, it shines from the top and you know in the top of your figure if you're Iron Man especially when the darks I mean the the lights are dim it's beautiful the effect that it creates and also the back panel too I mean and I noticed that it, it says on the back it's um, I guess now moving on to the uh, four figure inside of the uh, Hall of Armor so you can see it looks beautiful inside um, it's not really dust proof because as there is some you know space or gap in between but let me show you this is where it actually shines when you try to turn off the lights and I only turned off one portion of the light so you can see on that side you know the camera would get kind of blurry if I I do so like all of the lights you know it's not gonna capture so just if you want more pictures of of that effect I would suggest go to the link on the description because I'm gonna put on my website there so you can just see some pictures I mean it's quite beautiful on this one because it's it's harder when you do it on video and I don't have professional you know equipment or so so you can see here it shines through I mean it, look at that it's just um, you know it, it's menacing it's I love it as we get closer here you see Iron Man and you, you know imagine if you have seven of these I would say if you're an avid Iron Man collector the only thing that I could see a hindrance is the space but this blue light you know stands out really good especially in the dark but it, this is mostly if you want to put the sticker off the uh, the figure because it looks 3d if you do so which it's a good idea and at the same time i i didn't want to put mine uh, you can put it through soap because i i, I believe that if you do that you're kind of negating the look of the figure because it's kind of hindering the way if you're trying to look at it from from the outside and I to me I mean different taste for different people you know as they say but um, in my case you know I'll, I'll just leave it as it is maybe not turn on the blue lights at all you know but it still looks good even though you don't have that, that base I wish it would have came in with two separate pieces of acrylic glass so you can kind of put the um, the sticker on one glass and you know take it out and switch it up whenever you want to so I, I guess you can pick that up um, hey that's not a bad idea actually that, but they should have included two in my opinion so you can turn this off and it still looks phenomenal even without the blue light I think it's this look right here if you turn on his eyes you know the lights on his eyes it would just look fantastic and his chest too but even even without look at that this looks amazing now if if I have seven Iron Man's and it doesn't need to be from mark one to seven I mean theoretically that's what you wanted to put but if even if you don't let's say you have four Iron Man's in my opinion this still looks good and this is how it looks like without any lights just a blue lining on it and it's still you know you can see a little bit inside the camera is having a hard time picking it up obviously because it, it won't focus just on the just the blue light itself but as you can see we are in total darkness right now because of that and I'm probably having trouble looking for the lights myself but you can turn on the two side lights you see, you, see, you know where, where you put the uh, the AAA batteries and um, it would create some sort of um, luminance on it but overall you, you can't just put the blue on and, and the two lights I, I you know it just I mean it would work obviously but it's not a good look to me like I said, the blue light is, is good, and this is the uh, sticker right here. And it comes with seven stickers, and that's the awesome part, because I guess they anticipated that you, you, you if you buy one piece, you don't know if you're going to get, you know, if you're going to put the Mark 1, Mark 2, and it kind of doesn't make sense if they create a different box for every Mark. So might as well put all the stickers in there. And this is the instruction manual. You, you should get that. The base itself, you know, you can put batteries on it, but I decided to just use an AC adapter. Because I, I honestly think it's, it's a waste of battery if you just want to put it in there. I mean, you see a wire cord coming through it, but if you just play it accordingly, it wouldn't be that bad. Now, this guy is 4 volts. That's according to the back of the base, at least. Uh, so, I mean, you would rarely find an adapter like that so you, my suggestion is you buy one of these generic ones from Radio Shack or eBay if you want it cheaper and I'm just trying to highlight you here if you want to put it on Detolf 
you could, but you got to modify it. This this um, particular case, because this is where I used to put my Hulk. That's why it's a, a bit taller. As you can see on the uh, detail on the side, you have Bane and uh, and Joker there. But you can see there, they sit a bit lower. And that should be it. So I hope it did help you guys. And if, if, for those who only has a few Iron Man or just one, um, it still looks good. So you can see I can display it this way. I don't have the mechanic anymore, but yep. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, please like the video or subscribe if you haven't done so. And until uh, next time. All right.